The following movie is rated R. Welcome back to another episode of Mutant Year Zero. Thank you for joining us again as we try to survive the wasteland. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. Also, be sure to leave us a comment so we know how we're doing. Thank you, and welcome to Mutant Year Zero. Okay. So when we last were with our heroes here, we had... Uh, some bad news uh, had uh, a fatality the uh, general consensus I think is that you're wanting to head back to the Ark uh, from there is that still stand true um that wasn't really what Perkin was wanting to do oh what did, what did Perkin want to do Perkin wants to see and save any rabbits if there are any still left okay so you were going to explore the complex some more um so going um if you head up to the to the north corridors uh you find some other areas um that have been, I don't want to use the word ransacked because that's not, it's, everything's dis, disheveled, disheveled. Um, it, it's not like any kind of um, organized tossing, looking for stuff. It's just, stuff's just carelessly destroyed. Um, you do find uh, some of the infected bodies. Um, so it does look like they, uh, the rabbits did put up a fight. You do find some rabbit bodies, uh, that, um, looked like they definitely had, had a fight. Um, but that you don't find any other life in the, in the complex essentially. Okay. Um, when you leave the, if you leave you can make a couple of scouting rolls for me and see if you can come up with anything there. I'll go for that. We'll give it a shot. All right. Let's see those rolls. Nice. Uh, not sneak scout. Oh, fantastic. Okay, you do see where it looks like uh, a small group of rabbits uh, did uh, did look to, to get out. Um, and let me see. They, they, it looks like they headed roughly west um, from where you were at. With a, I guess it, it'd be with a slight hint of heading north, uh, like a uh, west by northwest west. <laughs> it's not really a compass point there that's named, I guess. If I had the exact bearing, I could give it to you. But... And it's a, it looks like a small group, maybe four or five. Uh, does it, so it doesn't look like they were being followed by the altered rabbits? Zombie rabbits? No, no. That doesn't look like they were being followed by the in, the infected. Uh, looks like they got out, uh, perhaps uh, sneakily, maybe. But they were not. They were not followed. 
How old are the tracks? Um, probably, um, I'd say maybe four days, three to four days, is what you can best tell from it. It's definitely uh, less than a week. What would you like to do? I, or Perkin, would like to go and follow them. Okay. Do we have a way of doing that so we don't get shot at this time? Um, did you, did you, I think you, did you drive the truck all the way around or did you leave it on the other side no, of the river? we left it. That's what I thought. They're kind of headed in that general direction. Like, you're looking at the tracks and you're thinking, man, we almost maybe could have missed each other. Also, what's your end goal here? Like, if we find them, we can't exactly house them at our place. No. No, but uh, maybe we could find help them find somewhere else. I guess. Maybe. I just if they head back now and they and they find another group of rabbits, there's no telling what will happen. But if we find them and we offer help, there's still no telling what will happen. But maybe we'll get a better shot. I'm just not looking forward to going back home right now. Well, I guess you just need to let me know what direction you'd like to head. I guess we're going to try to track them down. Okay. So is that going to be a hunt roll for me? Uh, yes, to see which way they're headed. <sighs> All right. I know this may be a morbid detail, but are we, we are at least taking Ridge's body with us, right? Yeah, we're not leaving that there. So, uh, Chev, sure. why don't you give me a uh, 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 roll to just basically build uh, like a something to slide his body on, you know, uh, trying to blank, uh, not really a gurney, but what's where it's something where you can put it over your shoulders and they lay on a stretcher kind of thing and you drag it. I don't, I can't think what that thing's called. So a jury rig roll there. Velvet, you can tell that they uh, they went straight west here initially. I don't think that rolled right, Chef. There we go. No, it didn't. Okay, so you get something together so it's... Somebody's not just having to carry him over their back. Um, and it's something you can let down fast if you need to. Okay? All right. Um, go ahead and move one hex over here. Give me another hunt roll. Okay, perfect. They continued west here. So if somebody wants to roll cilia. Uh, know the zone? Find no, the path. find a path. Yeah, That's find the right. path, yeah. And she's got, how many bonuses? It's like a plus six or something? Yep. In gear. It's hefty. Okay. Um, nothing particularly worrisome in this, uh, in this zone. You've got, uh, some extra successes. What would you like to look up in those? Uh, where the heck are we? There we are. Rot. Okay. Nope, you're good there. And artifact. Ooh, going for the artifact. Okay, let me check my deal here.
Celia is in a lot of pain. Oof. <laughs> yep. Okay. Let's see here. Artifact. Find an assault rifle. That's a nice find. All right, then. Shit. <laughs> uh, anyone want that? There's no ammo with it, but... Yes. It's... Oh, you've got ammo, don't you? No. Oh. Eh, who knows? I might find some later. All right. Uh, who wants to track, continue tracking the uh, rabbitses? Pull velvet sheet back up. Uh, push, I guess. Okay. So we need to reduce that by one. Two agility damage. Ooh, ouch. All right, so, but you are able to track to here. Oh, up one. Okay. Yep, yeah, up one. And uh, you notice also um, that you maybe are catching up to them. Um, it's looking like uh, these are much fresher. Like uh, within the last 12 to 18 hours. Ooh. What do we want to know about this zone? Everything? <laughs> Uh, rot for sure. Good, you're nothing, nothing issue there. And try for another artifact. Mm, no artifact here. Uh, that's two bullets. There are two bullets. Yay. We've been letting her keep the bullets she finds, so she's yeah. got a fair amount of bullets these days. That's um, good. I guess speed. Oh, wait, no, the full speed. Well, isn't there like a speed that's like not, you get to explore, but you don't get, um. Yes. Yeah, there's a half speed, yeah. half speed, which you get to do stuff, and then there's quarter speed, which you don't. Yeah, but you, you've you got, you went for rot, artifact, and bullets. That's your three, three extra successes there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The so. first one just is the success. That's yep, right. Yep, yep. So, all right. So, let's see. Do we need to hunt here again, I think? See where they're going from here? Uh, let's see, I'm at three base now. So. Let's see, where are we at here? You're at uh, probably four. Yeah, it's it's probably approaching nighttime as you're heading into this next one. Is that going to be okay, or do you guys want to bed down? Where are we headed to? Here. They're headed up to the river here. Okay. This is kind of close to home. I don't know. Yeah, we can we can dip over to the ark if if it gets late enough and we can set up camp there. The old ark? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. Okay. All right, so you've been in this zone, so you don't need to, to um, mess with it. Um, when you're getting into this zone, you know you're getting really close to the rabbits. You're, you're with the truck you've managed, or you don't have the truck, with your pace, we'll say, um, uh, 
you have you have definitely caught up. Uh, something you'll notice too is from the the tracking is it looks like um, maybe a couple of them are wounded also. You, you're kind of noticing as you're they've been traveling that uh, you're noticing like a, a leg is dragging a little more stuff like that. So they're they're getting fatigued and the injuries are are starting to show. Okay. Um, now as you're getting close to the river you start hearing some gunshots how do you want to address that sorry i'm sorry what was the question as you're getting close to the river you're you're hearing some gunshots uh, a couple of gunshots and and uh yeah so I don't know how you want to handle that. Do you want to go into like a sneaky mode or speed up your can pace? We, can we do it? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to get there quicker. If that's all right with everyone else. That is fine with me. Okay. Oh boy, a map. <laughs> a real ass. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me get you guys collected up here. All right, do you guys see the see yourselves on the map? Yep. All right, so the gunshots are coming from kind of that way. Was that like a small stream or something? Yeah, it's totally maybe knee deep at its deepest spot. Uh, down here, you can probably even get across and just get your ankles wet. Of course, I know how you guys are with water. You'll probably want to fly across that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be making a move roll there? No, you won't need to make a move roll there. <laughs> you could almost probably jump across it down here. Case. Let's move that way. We are going to attempt to jump that. Okay. I I will need a move roll then if you're going to jump it. We'll use an animal power point to pop tail. Okay. Swear to God, do not screw me. Son of a bitch! Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. That's a good roll, though, isn't it? Yes. The, the six. Go grab, my book. Go grab my book. I think you get everything back. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, this is the right one. You connect with your inner beast, and for a moment, it acts in perfect harmony with your human side. You regain the FP you just spent and can immediately, in the same turn, activate the power again, with the same purpose as the first time or another. Look at I'm you. I'm not tempting fate. <laughs> <laughs> so we are not going to activate it again, but I will take that extra point, though. Or extra... Get your point back? I'll take the... Well... I'm trying to remember to use them more often as I've had 10 for months. Yep. I haven't had my Wasteland Wind going. I need to get that going. There we go. So. It's funny because some of the stuff that dings me on YouTube, I'm like, really? You're going to give me a copyright infringement for that? And then other things, it's like, can't believe they didn't infringe or give me a copyright infringement for that. But some of it is sound effects that I've used. It's they're like, we're sorry, that's I'm like, what? Alright, so that's two extra points. Move. Guess what we're not doing? Pushing that. Alright, <laughs> but you you make it across. You got your success. 
So you very daintily bound over it, your tail whipping like a propeller almost as you go over. Have you ever seen that dog jump the fence on YouTube? Um, I I have had a lot of dogs, so yeah, I know how their tail does the thing when they're doing long jumps. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Go it, figure this happens when she's chasing rabbits. Well, what was amazing about the dog on the YouTube is he was standing at it dead still. It wasn't like he ran and jumped it. He just was like, boing, and over this, like, probably four and a half foot fence, and his tail was going like a prop. It was almost like he was like, come on, <laughs> flew right over the fence. All right, uh, Celia is just going to go ahead and slosh through. Perkin, you're using some... I also have a tail. Oh, very good. Boing. Sorry, I, I actually should have said before I did that. It's all right. Nice. Chev will just slosh through it. Okay. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Figure if Cilia didn't get sucked down into the depths of some terror's mouth, you would be all right too, right? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, yeah, you hear, hear shouting... Uh, very, fairly distant at this point, um, and uh, some more gunshots and what sounds like maybe laughter. If you guys still want to run in and go ahead, I am going to be sneaky. All right, let's let's see some. Are are you all going to try to sneak? How much is that going to reduce my speed by here? Uh, I'm not going to give you a speed reduction here. Uh, it's just to make not make a bunch of noise going through the woods. So you're just kind of watching how you step. Yeah, I'll take... I'll I mean, unless that. you're going to be out in an outright run, now then we might have to talk. Um, but I didn't figure you were in a dead run, or am I wrong? No, no, okay. I, I, don't, I don't have the armor to be in a dead run. Okay, all right. Okay, so, so far so good for everybody, it looks like. Just need one from Chev. Uh oh. Chev is not sneaky. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. All right. So show me where you want to move. Uh, basically. I can push that, right? Yeah, you sure can. There you go. And, of course, you had to take the damage off of it. So you can make it roughly to here on this next go as sneaky sneaky. Definitely a little louder uh, activity you're hearing now. Um, and you're familiar with this area, so you know basically it sounds like it's coming from this beachy area here. Keep going. Okay. Give me another sneak roll. Look at Perkin. You can actually share those, Perkin. Don't forget. I would like to do that. Yes. Anyone who comes up short, I'll share it with. Okay. I, I we always forget about that, but. In fact, Chev, take that damage off that you took. Because initially, 
Cilia could have shared one with you. Looking Roger back that. on the roll. Okay. You're going to be able to get to the edge of the woods here with this next sneaky move. And I'm going to guess you're going to do that real slow and easy, probably, to try not to draw attention. I think that sounds about right to me, anyway. Or are you going to go sliding down onto the sandbar? I like that option, too. No. Okay, so show me how you want to line up on this, and then I'll let you know what you see. Probably like this, for me anyway. Okay, I, I don't so much need to know how you get there. Just show me where you're lining up on this, this ridge here, where you want to line up. You're like up. right up on the tree line, right? Okay, yeah, like, you know, are you going to string out along it or are you going to all be bunched up you know So there's what you see. Um, they have basically, they're kind of herding the rabbits. They're screaming at them to get down. You know, get down on your knees. They're, the dogs are kind of moving to make them comply. Are these pirates? Yes, they are. So if Perkin were to, how how far up are we from that beach right there? It's probably six foot. That that's about all. It's not okay. bad. If Perkin were to dig, would he hit water right there on the beach? Uh, show me with a ping what you, where you mean to dig. So it would be from where I'm currently at to where the rabbits currently are. Oh, you're wondering if you could dig there and you're hoping to not hit water is what I'm, I'm hearing. Correct. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, I think you would be okay there. That's This is a pretty substantial sandbar here. I mean, you've got fauna growing on it. So I, I'm going to say that, yeah, you would would not hit water. I mean, there might be some seepage, you know, from a water table being high, but nothing that's going to like whoosh and, oh, no, I'm stuck and drowning now, you know. Sometimes when I go back and I edit these, these episodes, I think, man, Jeff, you really need to stop trying to make sound effects because it's just you just sound like an idiot. It's just like I appreciate the effort regardless. <laughs> like, so part I'm of gonna... being a GM is forgetting about your pride. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a second to confer. Uh, how injured do these some of these rabbits look? They are pretty beat up. Um, so. And give me a scout roll or additional information, potentially. Oh, 
Okay, so the all of the rabbits appear to have been through some something. They're they're roughed up pretty good, okay? The dogs interestingly enough do not appear to have eyes. And you'll notice that the uh, pirate here and here um, remember Nickel told you about the pirates that had uh, metal body parts and stuff? Mm -hmm. Those two appear to be the augmented pirates that he spoke of. Or not the two, that, but ones that he talked about seeing. Which you guys haven't come across yet. Until now. The boat does not appear to have anybody on deck right now. And you'll have to forgive me, that's the best boat I could find. It's more of a speed boat kind of thing with a motor, not a... Gotcha. Not a seafaring... Like, like a half yacht kind of a deal? Yeah, yeah. So what uh, what Perkin is trying to assess right here is if he digs a hole to the rabbits, do they look like they would be in too bad of a shape to ju be able to just jump down into it and get out? No, no, they, they could get, get down in the hole. Okay. They're limpy, not gimpy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then... Uh... Hey, I'm going to dig a hole to them. Get them out of there. So you want us to make a distraction then, or...? Well, I mean, that would be cool. We got any grenades left? I'm out. Chef? No, but I do have a pot bomb. Sounds good. Um, let's do it then. Oh, good lord. Um, are these the guys with the art with the metal bits? The yellow ones. Okay. And so what are these guys armed with? Uh, they scrap rifles. They've okay. all got just scrap rifles. Which is that for you? That's a good thing because typically they're packing assault rifles, you know. Uh, but oh, what's concerning? The, these guys just have. Uh, well, let me check. Double check that. I think they just got the. Yep, yeah, scrap rifle, and then the other one. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, is this the? I'm sorry. The, these two do have assault rifles. Okay. Um, the, uh, more concerning to you is that as you're kind of sitting there, you see these two dogs start sniffing the air, no eyes, but they're sniffing yeah. the air and they both almost in as one look up at the slope where your guys are at. So, um, I'm going to give you, you, you are in what I would call an ambush situation. So I'm going to give you first go here, but then we're going initiative because the dogs have spotted you. Yep. So uh, let's start with uh, Velvet. or Well, let's start with Perkin because I think you've got a plan you want to hatch. So yeah. uh, you, you lay it out for everybody. All right. Basically, I, I just, as soon as the rabbits are in the hole... I want a grenade there. It, where the hole was or where they were at? No, no, no. Uh, where they were at. So right in there? Roughly. Okay. Okay, so you're going to kick things off then. Sounds like it. All right, so let's see your animal powers. Give us that roll. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
we are not doing well with the animal talents tonight, are we? <laughs> your animal side is completely suppressed and your human side takes over. This means you lose all FP and are unable to gain more. Wow. Does the power go off or no? <laughs> it does. It does go off. You just can't do it again for right now. Well, roll another D6 and we'll find out how many hours. Three hours. Three hours. Okay, let me make a note of that. I suppose I should have asked this this first as well. Um, do I need to... Will Is one FP enough to pull that off? You go 30 feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's plenty. Okay. All right, cool. Um... So I'm going to just kind of, we're going to say that right here, and it you dig, and... I would also like to have my flamethrower in a, in, in, a, in a good spot. Like, obviously, I can't be holding it while I'm, uh, while I'm digging, but... Yeah, I'm not sure you can take that with you on this journey. Are you going to leave right. it back up here with, with you? That'll, that'll, if that's what I got to do, then that's okay. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> as the ground sort of opens up beneath these... Uh, rabbits or rabbitses. What what would be plural for rabbits? Rabbits, I guess, is plural. <laughs> rabbit is plural for rabbit, I believe. <laughs> I uh, believe. Mises and mooses. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. So nope, there there's some shock. Um, uh, but you do see some recognition in uh in a couple of their faces. Not all of them, but. You do re they, there's a, some recognition and a, more than a little bit of shock that you're now at their feet. What what do you want to say to them? In the hole, up the hill, now, go go go. Okay. You do not have to really tell them twice. All right, so I guess, Chev, you're probably up with the pipe bomb now. Yeah, I want to drop the pipe bomb to the left side. Okay, like right in here. Perfect. Is that a shoot? That is a shoot. Yep, you're throwing it. Oh, that would be a hit. All right. Um, what did we say the blast is on that? What was the base damage and then what's the blast? Crap. Yeah, that... They're pretty much all going to take the full damage there. That would be two, three, four points, and then roll me nine dice. For the blast portion of the explosion. One more success, so five points of damage. Well, not even going to try to talk to me, just going to blow me up. I got it. They're pirates. No. <laughs> we might have been friendly pirates. Okay, so I'm going to take... What did I say? Four or five? Five points of damage? Five points, yeah. Kerplooey. All right. You see Chunk O Dog go everywhere. <laughs> dog went, went to try to fetch. <laughs> Whoops. The, the dog is now Chunky Salsa. Gotcha. Well, let's see how this one does.
Well, that didn't roll anything, did it? Nope, I see nothing. All right, let's try that again. Still nothing. Yeah. Does he not have an armor? Yeah, that's. I've got an. Well, maybe do I have something in here wrong? It looks like you've got custom nope. roll, which is what happens when you mess with the dice part upstairs and don't actually hit the button. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. Nope. All oh, right, nope. I'm just gonna roll three six. And nothing. Whammo. Chunko pirate. Anybody see the movie uh, Tremors? <laughs> <laughs> the first one that eats the eats the bomb. I thought you were referring to Perkin as the Tremor. <laughs> oh, oh, well, yeah, that that too. I mean, this is definitely give me Tremor vibes all the way around. Dude, I love the burrower perk Ooh, so much. That's the first time I've had armor actually work somewhat. So, look at there. So he's more machine than he is man. All right, Terminator. <laughs> actually, that's a Vader reference. <laughs> Terminator, Vader. Not good things to have after us. Okay, so... Blammo! All right, it is uh, Velvet's turn. What would you like to do? Where a notch? What am I? Let's see here. Where a notch? One of my poison arrows. Hmm. Well, we are going to take aim at this doggo, because if they don't have scent to track us, they probably aren't going to find us if we take off. I bet we're faster than they are. Take aim, and we are going to fire. Aim is plus one. Wow. And is a miss entirely. Wow. wow, 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 wow. Uh I really don't want to have to. I think I'm gonna have to push that. Okay. May the odds be ever in your favor. There you go. And that is a damage of one. Yeah, it's a damage of one, but poison arrows. Can I actually link this? No, I can't. Uh, I know when I, I made these a while ago, it says roll a 1d6 if the arrow hits the determined damage. Okay. That's probably going to be if it gets through the armor type of thing. Okay, so go ahead and roll armor then. Ooh, it nope. does not. Wait, the dog has armor? Pirates take care of their dogs, I guess. Apparently, shit. Never mind then. Oh, well, that's another agility point. Okay. Uh, Cilia's turn. Oh, I used the poison thing. Didn't mark that. Silly would probably go with the scrap rifle, I'd say. Do you want me to go ahead and roll it? If I can find the character sheet, I'll roll it. Yeah, better luck than me. Wow. I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been dicing you pretty hard here already tonight. Do you want to push Cilia or... Uh, yeah... What's her target, by the way? The dog. Okay. Wow. So that's two agility damage, and her gun breaks. 
Amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is not happening. All right, initiative time. So Shav would be 10. Okay. Perkin is 7. If this is going off a of current agility, that would be 6 for me. Didn't you have something that does something to your initiative? Uh, I don't think so. No. I just have usually... I usually don't walk into a fight missing three agility. That's fair. Okay, so Chev's is what, total 10? Yes, 10. Perkin, what are you actually, or is it 4? 7. 7. And Velvet? 6. Okay. Chev, you get to go first. Okay, Shev will follow suit and we'll fire at the dog. Okay. You've got a rocket launcher, right? <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, I could fire the gyro jet between the him and the. Well, that doesn't board. explode, does it? Is the... the gyro jet rockets don't explode, do they? It's just a really nasty, like a plus three or something, right? Yeah, I think it's just got a... It doesn't have an explosive tip on it. Uh, I'll just do the scrap rifle, the, the fantastic scrap, scrap rifle. Gotcha. <gasps> Please tell me that's not correct. You're missing some skill points there, aren't you? It's showing on my board, but they did not roll. I had to do a clear, clear thing once, and that got me rolling correctly. So re-roll that all together, please. It's like the roll 20 is having some hiccups here. You're still not getting your skill. No, it's showing on here, but it's not doing it. Let's go ahead and roll in roll 20. Or in, in Discord, I mean. Roll 20, that's what we're trying to do right now. Yeah, I, I, I was on board with you. So it's a exclamation point, roll MYZ. And... Um, Base, let's see, I think you do the base, yeah, three, like, something B, then S, and then, what's the one for the G, so B, S, and G is, is your roll, uh, for each of the stats. Okay, so one success, and I don't know if you want to push that or not. You'll take damage if you do. No, I'm not going to push that. Okay, you do two damage with that, correct? That is correct. Okay. 
Ooh, dinged some armor on that one. Okay. All right, uh, the dog goes now. Probably going to go here. And that is probably a ways down in there, isn't it? I would hope so. Perkins yeah. planning on egressing on the same route, so. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a move roll, I think, to get down in there with you. Just based on what we got there. Move. Okay, so I get down in there with you. And I'm going to try to bite you. If, uh, bef bef I want to, sorry. Go, go ahead, um, go, no, you go ahead. Uh... If I use the defend action, does that also take my move roll from my turn or just my action? Just the action. Okay. Then I would like to do that. Okay. So you're going you're gonna to defend against that. Nice. You're like, no, bad doggy. This is my hole. Get out. Find your own hole. Smacked him right on the schnoz. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the end of that. Uh, one, two, three. Velvet. Four, five, six, Cilia. This guy right here is going to take a shot at you. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you, you're in the tree line, aren't you? Yeah, she is. She would so not I'm gonna, be out on the beach. <laughs> I'm going to give you one point of basically cover. Mm -hmm. So that's two points of damage you're going to have to contend with. So, okay, so it's two points of damage. Yeah. All right, so it's unless it's got, does it have trees listed in the uh, cover? I mean, I think it's kind of the discretion, but I think a tree's decent enough cover. <laughs> yeah, 89. Well, I, I, it may give you more is what I'm getting at. Uh, Let's see, 89. Might be a difference between heavy and light cover. Well, actually, shrubbery gives you two. So you just got to contend with one. Okay. Bring me a shrubbery. Now I'm going to have to find that. Put that clip in the video. Good lord. Oh, wow. The rolls just are getting crappier. Okay. That's so how much damage? Two? Two. Well, no, one. One, 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 one. It was three okay, total. So... And uh, the foliage blocked two of it. This guy is going to shoot it. One, two, three, Cilia. Four, five, six, Chev. Cilia is getting shot at. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> she has one health. That's really bad. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I wasn't aware that she would... Well, I guess it's just been so long since the last time we played. I, did, I wasn't... When did she take damage from? Because we had probably a zombie. Last... I'm yeah. sure that I'm yeah. sure she probably took some from. Yeah, zombie. she absolutely uh, took took infected damage. Well, okay. let's hope he misses. Or she rolls really good on armor. He's using an assault rifle, so two of that goes away. So just one point of damage. Someone with better luck than me, roll please. <laughs> uh, she's she doesn't have any armor on her page, so. 
Oh, it breaks her? Uh, no. Well, I mean, she's got cover, right? So I've already taken that off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. well, she doesn't she have any armor. Have, she should have some kind of armor. There's none on this sheet. Hmm... Um... I thought we determined that she had the tire armor. Remember we had that discussion and you said... I, we... I remember the discussion, but it never made it onto her sheet. Yeah, but I gave you I gave you the armor bonus in that session. So just go ahead and put in there tire armor. It's well, just, three. I'm sure it's just an over, oversight. And so she's got, is it three or, I thought we said four. Was it three or four? Uh, I got here... As you guys were phasing out of that, I'm trying to remember. I'm leaning towards three, though. Okay. Well, we'll put three. I don't know that I... I didn't write anything down on it. All right. So just roll, roll three-point armor on it. Oh, blocked. Okay. Blammo, no issues there. Uh, Perkin, your turn. I'm guessing you're beating. Some I would feet. like to egress, uh, post haste. All right. Through the hole I've made. Yep. Okay. So right on up here. And you still have an action. Or no, no you blocked. Used, you blocked. Yeah, you blocked. I used the defend move. Yeah, so you blocked. Um... Uh, so Velvet, your turn. We're gonna take out an armor. Shoot, we didn't roll for Cilia. She would have went with me. Ten. Uh, a, oh, wait. That's actually oh, wait, she a, would... She's actually a ten. All right, then she would have rolled with Chev and Dog, so she should take her turn first. Okay, so somebody want to go ahead and... Uh, would have an opportunity to shoot the dog before it got down in the hole, if that's what you want to do. And she wants to take a second shot at it, but I think that's a good idea. Well, don't that forget also... the, the rifle's busted also that she has. Yeah, she's got other other yeah. equipment. Got a revolver there. Probably should have started with that. Um, she does not have, <laughs> especially because she doesn't have the quick draw perk. Well, she's not holding anything right now, so. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, I'd say she hits the dog. Nice. Okay. We'll, you know what? We'll dump that all into damage. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. The dog has taken some damage already, correct? Yes. Like one point from Chef? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this violence against my animals, I tell you. Violence against me. <laughs> Which means Perkins should get his secondary action now? Yep. So, Perkin, if you want to take a shot when you get to the top of the hill. Uh, actually, I'd like to give Celia a pill. <laughs> Here, open up, girl. <laughs> eat, eat the candy. <laughs> right. And what does that do for her? Uh, it's a painkiller, so it should, I believe it just brings her to full... Okay. Give me a percentile dice. Roll, please. Okay. Uh, she is full up. So somebody mark her as no damage. Uh, so now we're back. Are we at Velvet again now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. What is this guy wearing? 
looks like some sort of military gear. Um, he definitely looks like he might have armor. Okay, that's neat and all. Uh, does he have like any grenades or anything on him? No, nothing like that. Okay. Well, we're gonna shoot at him anyway, and we are gonna take out a. What does this do? I'm gonna take out a bear arrow, which does a plus one to damage, provided this friggin' hits. We're gonna aim. Yeah, actually, we're not gonna aim because I need to be able to move after this. So. So plus one or base damage is plus one, and then we're gonna add the next, the extra thing to damage. So, so we're going to two damage, and then because of the arrow I use, it's three damage coming his way. Three damage, okay. Whoop! That ain't right. Let's try that again, computer. <laughs> Why is it doing that? All right, roll some three dice. And it was three points of damage, you said? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, he did not care for that too much. Then we're going to take our... Big old arrow sticking in his chest. We're going to make sure that we're going to back up a smidge. So I imagine people are going to want to be running now. Okay. I'm gonna go about that far. Okay. That's my turn. Top, top of the turn, Chev. So are we fighting or are we turning and running? It looks like we're leaving. Uh, do the rabbits get a turn as well? I oh mean, yes, we we. Uh. Yeah, they, they would run if if that's what what we're doing. Hey, okay, Chev, what did you want to do? I guess I will strategically withdraw. You can take a shot at someone before you withdraw. All right, I'll take a shot at the red dude then. You see at the red guy? Oh, yeah. Please okay. Okay. I can't seem to get that to roll, so I'm just going to roll again. Oh, lost some of the armor. Okay. That drops him. Now, I will strategically withdraw. Okay. Go ahead and move your token. If Cilia picks me up and then moves, is that a force roll? Um, are you a willing participant in that? Yes. No, it would normally be a probably a fight roll to grab. Um, but if you're like, Mommy! <laughs> 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 no, I'm not going to make you make the roll. Okay, so then Cilia is going to pick me up and move away from the tree line. Okay. Pick me up! <laughs> okay. Boom. Okay. So...
Perkin, your turn again. Um, just keeping up with the group. Okay. I assume we're pretty much at this point just going to do a hard retreat. Okay. Well, you don't hear anybody pursuing you. So it depends on how hard you want to go. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just keep, like I said, I'm just keeping up with the group. So. Okay. Uh, Velvet is sprinting. Okay. So you guys are gonna put some distance fast then. Yeah. Is what you're looking to do. Yes. Okay. And get away from the water. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'd say pretty quick you're gonna you're gonna get distance there that's gonna be significant enough to pull us out of uh out of turn order. Um how far are you gonna go before you slow down? Excuse me. Uh, well, I know we were planning on retreating back to the Ark or something went bad, so... Um, I don't know if we want to do that now, considering that the Ark is right on the river and the boat and the pirates have a boat. That is also true. Like a sector or two away? Sure, a sector we're familiar with. Okay. Because it's pushing night now, right? Yeah, yeah we you, need to this engagement basically it. happened at night, yeah. So, either here or here? I would allow you to go here also if you wanted. Away from water! Away from the water! Oh, no gotcha. water! Gotcha, okay. So here? Uh, I mean, what does the one HR mean? At one, one hour, hour. It, it's it's you've it's oh. a well traveled. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Well traveled. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say there. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and mark off a uh, food and grub because uh, it is nighttime. Uh, the rabbits do need some tending to, some patching up. Um, that's the plan. Okay. Uh, they, they're very thankful. Um, uh, I'm sure you maybe have some questions for them. I'm going to go ahead and move you into that sector also. All right. Um, so how do you want to handle things? I see no reason why I can't ask them questions while I'm tending to them. No, Absolutely. Don't when, mind me. The, I'm just the, guzzling water over here. <laughs> <laughs> While you, when you start tending to the first one, uh, she goes, uh, isn't your name Perkin? Yes. Yes, I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. Thank you for saving us. And that's what we try to do. Do. Because it worked. Yeah, it worked. So we saved you. You're welcome. She doesn't offer anything else at that point. Okay. You guys have food? You good? Got stuff? Make no, you... we don't have anything. We barely got out alive. Well, eat up. And I'll, I'll, I'll pull out some of my food to feed all of them. Okay. Can't Again, not eat. Lots if you, of, if lots you don't of eat, thank you. 
thank you, thank you kind of thing. Oh, you're welcome. If you don't eat, you don't get better. You don't get better. Bad things happen. Uh, do they need additional food for their healing as well? Yeah, they're going to need uh, uh, additional food. Uh, probably three rations each. Just to I'll ballpark throw one it. Win. Okay. I mean, they're, I've got, they're banged I've got up. Three I can toss them. Okay. I have another nine I'm willing to part with. Okay. They're very thankful for everything you're offering. Uh, they are kind of quiet. Um, while you're tending to them, do you have any other questions? Uh, not yet, but uh, we'll just while they're they're kind of quiet, you know, and whatnot. I'm sorry. I we know what it's like to to lose a home. It is. It is trying. This is the second home we've lost. I'm, if you don't, if you don't mind the asking, um, where were you? Where were you guys headed? Just anywhere but where we were at. We knew you were somewhere to our west, maybe to the northwest. We were going to try to find you. Uh, you're the. Only ones that really have actually shown any kind of kindness to us. I can tell you that our elders were very sorry that they attacked you outright. But everywhere we went, everybody shot at us first, so we just started doing the same. Just assumed everything was out to get us. I, I don't blame you. Most of the stuff out here is. But it's not all bad. There's a couple of good apples. Well, we wish and we it's... had found you sooner. Well, can't change that. But now you know. So you've got that at least. Um, speaking of which, I, I don't know how bringing you back to the Ark would have worked out considering how things went for us the first time. Um, we can talk with our people, but if that doesn't work out, we can point you back in the direction of where some other rabbits are. You mean we might not be able to go and stay with you? I don't know. That's what we were trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I... uh, your, your counsel was... Uh was not sure. I think they wanted exactly. to try to get a little bit more information. And uh, basically, we're kind of leaving it up to you. And I think you were waiting to see what their response was, you know? Yeah. Um, they said, well, the, the, the one you're speaking with um, says, well, we would very much appreciate it if we could uh, could stay with you. My name's Margo. Margo? Uh, as you already know, my name's Perkin. I'm the doctor. Good to meet you. Thank you. Wish it were under more pleasant circumstances, but it is what it is. Well, it's we're we're all that's left of of our of our clan. I'm sorry. That's, that's rough. Uh, speaking of which, I need to look over everyone and make sure that um, the virus is not going to cause any more problems. Oh, uh, yeah. None of us were bit. But please do. Uh, this is this is June. Uh, it's uh, June, and then this is uh, Sinis, uh, Pyro, and Vang.
What was the first one's name again? I'm typing them out for you here. There you go. Uh, just Sinus, for your information. Sinus, Pyro, and Vang are what appear to be the warrior cast. Uh, Margo and June are the uh, shapeshifter rabbits. Okay. Just for your information, we do have people that were bit. And I'm going to check them over. But you can't, you can't help them. You can. If you know what you're doing, we've run into this before. You've had someone bit by the infected? We've run across the infection before. Okay. Well, they they very easily submit to um, an inspection, and you okay. don't see anything. And my wife just gave me a flipping heart attack, like a serious, full-on heart attack. I was didn't hear her come in and she scooted something across the floor and it's like sounded like a hiss i'm i think i wet myself a little bit <laughs> she scared me so bad all right so who all do we have that was bit i know uh cilia took some damage cilia oh, did not take any damage in the last encounter cilia is the only one that is still alive that took damage I'd like to uh, try and rig something up out here to, with my brew potions to try and bolster her immune system. Her chances something? here. Yeah. Something to bolster her chances here. All right. Um, you go over and you check Celia. You can see where she was actually bit multiple times. And, uh, well, twice she was, she got bit through through where there was no armor or whatever um and it, just on your exam there's a couple things you notice uh at the bite you can see black streaks going from where the b bites were and you notice that her eyes are also bloodshot her pupil appears to be maybe changing shape and you'll notice that uh her body temp is a little high. Okay. Uh, we're going to let the fever stick around because that's part of the process of the immune system doing its job. Um, uh, but treat the bites for an infection and give her something to boost the immune system. Okay. Um, if, if you want, like, as, as much as I, you know, a plan from me, that would be it. All right, so... Let me pull your character here. All right, so what I want from you first is a heal roll. And this is just a base roll to see if you can figure out what you're going to need to maybe counteract this infection, okay? And I'm going to tell you, you're at, well, you're at a negative three. So... Um, I'll re-roll it. That's fine. Okay, yep. Still, look at that. Nice. Okay, so... Whew, you're not sure. You're not sure what you've got is going to work. Um, this is obviously something that's extremely virulent and is already making some issues, causing some issues. Um, but go ahead and give me a brew portions at negative two. And uh, we'll see what you get here. I would like to push. I kind of thought you might. Oh, also, um, I do have some of my potion brewing stuff on me. Not as much as is, is at the Ark, but... Uh, do those give you some bonuses? Yes, they do. Okay, go ahead and get, get uh, the bonus for those. You've already taken the, the subtraction. 
right? Yeah, I'm I'm just rolling the equipment, and then okay. I'll and then I'll re-roll the minus with okay. everything. Well, that's you you got a success with your equipment, so do you oh, want okay, to roll cool. again? Uh, is more successes going to buy me more time? Do anything to help? Mm, not in this case. Then we'll just take the one success and oh. not take any damage to wits. Okay, so you cook down some stuff. It takes, um, it's going to take you most of the night uh, to get this prepped. So I want you to go ahead and mark sleepless, okay? And uh, you're pretty certain that once Celia takes this, it's going to... It's not going to be pleasant for her, okay? It's going to incapacitate her as this thing fights this infection. Okay. So how do you want to deal with that? Uh, can we make another uh, stretcher? Absolutely. Oh, uh, actually, never mind. Surgeon wouldn't help me here. Uh, am I, do we have more at the arc that I can use to, if she makes it that far, that I can do to help her out more later on? Um, maybe, but your time is going to be extended further. So there might it might be a moot point. You might get some more bonuses with equipment, but you're probably going to have negatives because the infection is going to be further along. Right. Well, I mean, I'm I'm gonna. It sounds like I'll have to do that then anyway. So because if I just if I anyway. Well, I mean, you've done it. You've you've created something that you think may work at this point. Right. Um. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's it's going to be important to kind of keep her, you know. Yeah, yeah. With further doses of medicine, if we can manage that. Yep. Uh, and I, when you get back, you can you. I mean, you can absolutely make another roll. I'm just saying, I don't know that you're going to have extra bonuses. Is all I'm saying. Okay. It's not like you're going to get another, extra, you know, four or five dice. It's probably going to still be, uh, you know, a regular roll, depending on how she responds. Right. Can we bind her as well? If she'll submit to that? Um, yes, she'll allow it because she understands. Okay, uh, so you're up most of the night. Uh, the other folks, I guess, are going to do alternating watches, kind of? Yeah. Okay, um, you're close enough uh, to the river still. You don't ever hear a motor, and you don't hear any type of pursuit. Other than other than Cilia, everyone's everyone's going to make their full recovery for everything, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what would you like to do at morning? Uh, we pick up and keep moving. Okay. Which way are you going to head? Towards the truck, I would assume. Okay, that's across from the arc. Where did we leave it at? I thought you left it right across from the arc. This icon here? How did we make it across the river? Didn't you guys take a raft or something, or did you go all the way up and around? I can't remember now. It's been too long. That's been a month and a half ago. 
I thought you drove a tendency to go like. <clears throat> did you? Did, are you sure you you brought the truck, or didn't you just walk it? Because you got. We may have just walked it. I'm not sure. I think we did because we took the truck back to the ark and then we walked down here because otherwise we would have to take this bridge up here and I don't remember us doing that because I remember we got over here pretty quick. Yeah, because this is so well traveled. It was like you could be there in like half, you know, basically half a day, essentially. <laughs> day, something like that. Otherwise, I think we would have moved the truck icon down here. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I think you. Hello. As a reactor that I like to watch says, editing Jeff here. So I went back and checked. They did, in fact, drive the truck to the river and then went on foot. We didn't discuss how they went over the river. That's an oversight on my part. So we'll just assume they built a raft. They're certainly savvy enough to do that. Anyway, back to our program. So... Regardless, it's it's not a difficult crossing here. Okay. As long as we're not getting shot at. And we're well, covering that, our tracks. That's true. All right, so is this the way you want to head head that way then? Up this way through here? Yeah, we need to we need to get to the arc post haste. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Moving here, um, this is an explored zone, so you don't have to roll if you don't want to. Um, we don't have a stalker to roll for us anyway, so. Okay. Um, give me a scout roll. Wait, all of us, or? Yeah, I, I'll let everybody roll that. Yeah, I'm voice only right now. Did your computer well, just... Yeah, it I I couldn't get it to hook back up to Wi Fi and then it froze up on me, so I'm trying to get back in. That's all right, we can roll a scout roll for you. Uh oh, scout's based on wits. I was gonna say is it shouldn't there be more dice than that? Nope. And we are not pushing that. Chef's character sheet's not one to work with me. Oh, that's it's gonna roll like twelve times now. Whoops. <laughs> well yeah, success on all of them, so he's good. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> So, as you're crossing here, you'll notice that the uh, the boat is still there. It hasn't moved. Well, that's weird. We'll just have to come back and blow it up. And uh, if whoever has binoculars can take a look, if they want. Sure. And see that. The two pirates that were augmented are still standing right where they were standing. <sighs> Let's get these. <laughs> Obviously, they mess with their, their heads, too. <laughs> I don't understand how that's possible, but yeah, things to do later, not now. Well, I mean, they you saw the that they were that at, at one point they were able to build entire people the humans that is maybe the pirates have access to some of that great uh just another thing on the list to come back for <laughs> all right so you're gonna head up and i i'm not gonna delay things we get you back to the ark here pretty quick yeah also cover our tracks as we're going i i I always assume as such anymore. You guys are okay. Good. good. Well, yeah, you're pretty good about voicing that when you're doing it. So uh, right. I'm, I'm not the I'm not going to be the anal GM. that's like, ha ha ha! I, you didn't say it this well, one I mean, time. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know who I've played with as GM before, so I, I'm probably just going to keep saying it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. It's it's no problem. All right, so. When you get back, uh, Celia has definitely uh, gotten worse. Uh, oh, I guess we need to... Are you bringing the rabbits with you? Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to have to. They're probably going to have to sit outside, though. Because we got yeah, to discuss and we have things to, to tell you. They are super, super 
thankful that you're bringing them. Uh, and uh, Margot uh, indicates, she says, whatever you've done for your person seems to be working at least to some extent. Any one of ours that were, were bit would have already been turned. Like I said, I'm the doctor. Sometimes it works. And I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so you're back at the Ark. I am not going to be able to do the debriefing on this. I am working hard at trying to give uh, Cilia every chance to... I get, I get that. Um, so, Chev, you're probably going to have to talk to the council regarding the rabbits. Um, yeah. It, or well, I guess Vel- Velvet, you're there too, so yes, you don't have she to, is. You don't have to do that alone. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna turn you down just a little bit, Chev. All of a sudden, you're really loud. Okay, so let's let's get the cilia out of thing out of the way first. Okay, so how much? With the equipment you've got there, what kind of bonuses are you going to get? I have a five on my equipment bonus with everything together. I've got the mortar and pestle. I've got the entire lab to use. All right, I'm going to give you a plus one out of that. And I have my assistants who can use the help action. I'm going to give you a plus one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and I understand that you're, you've given me a plus one so far, but there's also more materials here to work with. Also, the leeches might be able to do something, maybe, considering concerning the black ichor that is oozing out of the bite wound. Uh, they're, they're, they're well, us- the leeches are usually used to clean things up. Yep. Uh, I have given you significant latitude. All right. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to, yeah. you know, use all my options here. Uh, any minuses to my skills here? Nope. You just get an overall plus one. Okay. I am going to push it. Really? Okay. Uh, well, I suppose I should ask is, am I going to get any bonuses for additional successes here? Yes. Okay. And I am going to push it. Okay. Okay. So you break some of your equipment doing it. Fair enough. Basically one of your beakers, you're like, I got to get this to a higher temperature to get it to the, the, the point where it's going to basically blend with another material or whatever it is that you're trying to get to to kind of go together and to to form this new compound that's the word i'm looking for to make this compound to 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 come into existence you've got to take it hotter than it's it can handle and the beaker breaks okay um but uh you're feeling a lot better about what you're giving uh silly at this point uh, with your microscopes and all that stuff, you've kind of feel like maybe you've got a better handle on what this pathogen is. And uh, it takes you several days, but uh, you feel like you've you've got things stabilized. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, Chev and Velvet. The council, by the time you get down there, is already aware that there's rabbits here. Somebody's already let them know. And they're like, uh, why are the rabbits at our front gate? We went back to meet them, and they had been overran by by the infected. And we rescued these five from pirates. And this is all that's left. This is all the rabbits that are left from from the the dome. Correct. Mm-hmm. 
And you had an encounter with pirates as well. That's correct. Were, that's were they at the either. dome? No. No. Go ahead, Bill. They were at the river. When they escaped from their dome, they ran towards the river, apparently to find us, and they got spotted, and they were about to be captured by pirates. But um, there's something else that happened that you should know about, too. Uh, Reg is gone. In fact, they kind of got a hold of him and ripped him apart. I'm assuming stun sounds from the elders. <laughs> We've oh, I'm sorry. Him. My mic, my mic was muted. So uh, Suchet is visibly shaken. Uh, Almond Kerr covers her mouth and and kind of face. And Calgu uh, and Zingo they lower their 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 heads in just shock. And Suchet says, "Well, we're going to give him a hero's burial." We've got his body here with us, but yeah, it was the. The, zone, the infected that they were that the rabbits had to deal with are a lot stronger than any ones I've ever seen before. The 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 infected were stronger. They were. Is that a concern? Are they possibly getting stronger as they they make their way around the zone? I guess I've only really ran into them once or twice, and they were really fairly easy to take out as long as you're at a distance but they were taking shots from all of us pretty easily so it's really not too surprising especially with how fast you can turn from them that uh once one person started getting bit and they started turning and you know how that goes okay uh was there any other casualties Celia got bitten too, but Perkins is dealing with that. Hopefully he'll be able to fix that. Are we concerned that Celia may be infected? Oh, she is. Do we need to remove them from the facility for fear of infecting others? He's got her tied up. I think he has the precautions that he needs. Okay. Speaking of which, I, uh, storing her, I would... Just to make, I know that you just said you're not the kind of GM that would, you know, make sure that I had said everything, but I would take the appropriate precautions as well with that. Well, Shout you'll notice have her in the brig and whatnot. Something you notice is that uh, maybe a half an hour, you know, all of a sudden there's some extra guards around your your door, and they they mentioned they said the, the council wants us to watch her. I am happy to have you here. Watch uh -huh. away. Yeah, so you hear the council order that, Velvet and Chev. They're like, get some guards down there now. She's so Make much sure as... that I got some people in here with me, too. Yeah, they, they've, and they are armed with with good weapons. They gave them the good stuff. So <laughs> uh, the one guard looks at you, Perkins says, Perkins, I'm sorry, but we've been given orders that if she flinches even wrong, we're to put her down. I understand. And he just says, I'm sorry about Reg. Also, I heard. What, what are you talking about? Uh, we heard about Reg. We're sorry. What? what? I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm too busy right now. Okay. All right, you've lost me. Out of, out of game, out of character. What? You've lost me. What do you mean you don't know? He's uh -oh. basically telling them, I don't want to think about what happened to him right now. He's I just want to work. Per okay. Perkin is in denial, essentially. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. I was like, you're throwing like... 
I'm going, what? I'm like, he was in that session, right? He knows he's dead. <laughs> you got me good, man. You got me good. Well, All right. I mean, that's that's kind of the way it goes, you know, if, when someone's in heavy denial like that. So I'm glad I yeah. got you. Yeah, you got me good. All right. So um, the the back to the council. Um, Velvet and Chev, what what are your thoughts about these rabbits? Can can we accept? I, we would mu- very much like to accept them into our community, but can they be trusted? Are they? We've had problems with them in the past. Do are we sure that this is resolved? They, the last time we saw them, you know, before this, they were willing to talk with us and seemed interested in working with us, and now between literally saving their lives twice. I think if there is a time where they're going to be less, most likely to work with us, it's then. There's also only two of them that can do that little... She kind of makes wavy fingers to suggest that weird transformation nonsense. I see. Uh, all right. Go ahead and bring them in. Uh, we want some guards to escort them and... The council will interview them, and we'll make a decision after our interview. Um, Chev and Velvet, I, I trust that you'll handle uh, arranging things for Reg, and you'll uh, keep tabs on Celia. Yep. Okay. Um, go be with your, your companions, and uh, we will summon you if we need anything further. Suchet turns to the to the group and says, "If if you don't mind, I'm going to leave the discussion uh, with the rabbits to you. I would like to go and be with uh, Perkin and Celia at this time and and uh, see how they're doing. And of course, of course, the three don't have a problem with that. They let Suchet go. So Perkins, an hour or so later, Suchet shows up and just kind of says, How's, how are things going? You know.'" Wants to know how you're doing. Celia is in a bad way, but we're working on it. We've made some progress, and okay. Yeah. If there's okay. anything you need, let let me know. And I need a new beaker. Can you get me one of those? Suche looks in his bag. <laughs> see here. God, the next character I can make is gonna be that class. That's so much fun. <laughs> Let's see here. What is that again? That's called scavenge, right? Uh, let's see here. Yep, that's it. Scavenger. Yep. Okay, go ahead and roll. And this thing's rolling. There it is. It's gonna roll like four times. Yes. <laughs> he opens up his little bag that he carries with him. He goes, "Will this work?" <laughs> ah, <not>. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> How many successes did he get? Three. <laughs> okay, then yeah, it definitely uh, is durable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things practically pristine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When Shiv gets an opportunity to get away from everybody, he's going to grab a bottle of alcohol and go lock himself in a dark, recessed corner of his shop and rearrange things with his big ranch. Okay. In Just other words, a he's a fit of anger and rage. I'm back. And drunken. Have, having a moment. I got gotcha. you. That might take you a couple hours where you can finally get away and do that, but I get it. Is there anybody else going to be mourning in a particular way? Well, uh, that depends on how much you want to engage Perkin. Oh. Well. Nobody's going to push you too hard, if that's what you mean. They... No. No, I, I, that's not what I mean. It's, I mean, it's, it's just going to be, you know, the more people that sort of come up to him and say, I'm sorry, the more, the more maybe aggressive. I don't think that's the right word. But aggressive, he will become about the what? What are you talking about? Red is fine. He'll bounce back, back like he always does. You'll see. Yeah, and then it, eventually he'll become annoyed. And 
it doesn't take long for people to see see that in you, and they just kind of they they realize they just need to give you time. Uh, so they they leave you alone after a while. Velvet, is there anything in particular you're going to do? <sighs> we are going to spend time with the one family member she has that has been hanging out here this entire time and not really want to deal with people right now. Okay, so you're going to spend quality time with Nickel then. Yes, who I'm pretty sure is also pretty bummed because he kind of looked up to him. Yeah, well, the whole the whole arc's demeanor takes on a a pretty um, I don't want to say foul mood, but a, a cloud is definitely over everything. I mean, it, either you know they understand what Reg has done to save the people of the arc, or they knew Reg and they loved him because. He was just, that's Reg. I mean, Reg loved everybody, you know, would give the shirt off his back to help people and was just kind to everybody. So they, they, uh, there's, th that cloud isn't just over your group. It's certainly not as heavy as your, what you guys are experiencing, but you, the whole demeanor of the arc is pretty, pretty rough right now. Um, over the next few days, Cilia, uh, it's a fight, um, but she does appear to be getting better. The veins are retracting. Uh, the uh, pupils in her eyes have not gone back to normal, but uh, the fever's broke. So uh, she seems to be coming out of the woods. You anticipate in the next week she may be doing better yet. Um, so you're 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 very hopeful, Perkin. Um, yeah. What what do you want to do for Reg's situation? Perkin sounds like you're going to be out of that decision making process. Uh, so Perkin, Perkin will definitely be out of that process, but me, player, uh, am open to sort of suggesting things if nothing really comes up as far as what people want to do. Just help brainstorm that whole ordeal. Okay, what would you guys like to do for, for Reg? <sighs> hmm. Got an idea, Chef. Go for it. Well, that's just the first thing that pops in my head is uh, for a noble warrior. Well, we didn't hear that. <clears throat> the first thing that pops in my head is uh, for Reg being a noble warrior. What and what? What is it you would do for a noble warrior? Funeral pyre. Oh, funeral pyre. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, I think that he might also enjoy a tournament, and the first place prize is is like a is like you know like a belt, but that's the like he you know the belt has something to do with him, whether it's like a piece of his scrap shield on it or something like that, makes up the. Uh, you know the the metal that, piece on the belt or something of that nature it's cool like a maybe even an annual games or something in his honor yeah okay and and then have that named after him in some way shape or form yeah i think he'd probably dig that the reg games and uh the trophy is made of parts of his armor you think uh, I don't know if I want to sacrifice his his suit, but I mean some of his other armor maybe. Well, that's what I meant. The the it's some you know bits, and it wouldn't take much to make. I mean I'm not. I mean you can still repurpose the the watcher armor that or the uh, not watcher the shield the shield that he uh, that he carried around. Yeah, the you know that stuff can be repurposed. It just takes a small portion of it to, to make it. Are we going to go Warhammer 40k in this? 
you'll have to explain the reference. That'll okay. More okay. So um, it, there is a special group of uh, space marines called uh, Terminators, and they they wear a special set. Uh, some of their sets of armor are special because they contain um, slivers of the uh, armor that the emperor wore. They're, they're, they're big religious figure. Mm. And so each set of armor has a sliver of the piece of armor um, that the emperor wore in it. It's actually pretty cool mythos that uh, people would be like... Uh wanting a piece of his armor to to wear as a, a charm or something i could see that almost yeah uh all right so funeral pyre games in his honor um i hate to beat that guy and i really mean this we should probably take some of his stuff <laughs> well yeah well, that it, suit it, of armor is going somewhere <laughs> i mean well it's yeah right now it's dead as a doornail that's going to take some repair work but um well his weapons and his other things yep he's got he's got a lot of stuff i think i gave access to his sheet to everybody because i figured you'd probably pick over it <laughs> I, again i don't want to be that guy huh? but <laughs> yeah also everybody has access to, everybody has access to his his sheet now not to change gears too much but uh Perkin would be checking on the rabbits too throughout all this, and uh, the, the rabbits. The that basically, the council. What the council decided is that they're like, okay, we're going to let you stay. Uh, it's somewhat provisional, so basically, they have an armed guard, not guard, but guards with them, and it's kind of like we're we're going to do this on a test basis, and you're going to have to kind of gain our trust to some extent. Okay. And, I would like to make. Sh Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, up. go ahead. Uh, I would like to make sure that they get introduced to the other mutants that were, that we saved, that were the lab experience from the big lab. Okay. Yeah, they... Uh, they, they would have very similar, you know, experiences, so... Yeah. They, uh, again, they appreciate you, and uh, they seem to be acclimating well. Uh, they've healed up well, and uh, the, you've heard nothing but good things from... The people that they they are wanting to pull their weight, uh, they are they seem to be really they want to contribute to the ark, uh, to the bunker, and be a uh, you know be something good, you know value added. I guess that's where I'm looking for kind of. Um, Here's a question that we haven't asked in a very long time: How is our lone human doing? Your lone human. She is uh, basically being taken care of by uh, the remnant of your... Um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Um, <laughs> what's that group called? The uh, We haven't discussed them in such a the long time. The Chroniclers? The Chroniclers, yeah. Uh, are, are taking care of uh, her. Um but she still has shown no signs of of being able to speak. It's kind of it's. I don't want to say vegetative. Um, with some help, she feeds herself to some extent, and she's able. Oh, to... no, 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 no! Not the old lady. Oh, I okay. She died. I thought she died in the big arc attack with the other elder. No. They no, we she... rescued her. Yeah. Okay, the person I was talking about is um, the last time we came across pirates in the in a boat, uh, there was one person who was driving the boat that they were beating the crap out of, and the group had to talk Vela out of murdering this guy. Yeah, I remember who you're talking about now. Because gotcha. she absolutely was gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically came down to okay fine you can come with us but give me a reason and you are absolutely dead <laughs> you let him go so he did not come back with us okay well he came back but remember you sent him on his way and he left you maps to that the... was the guy at the hag 
Tag's place. We let him go, and he lent us maps. Really? Mm hmm I honestly don't remember what happened to the guy that we kept as a prisoner at the Ark. I thought that we... We brought him back, and he was under lock and key, essentially. Like, he just wanted to come with us because he knew <clears throat> he got caught again because he failed at the uh, ship driving thing. They went oh, yeah, that's, that's what he said. That's, that was one of the things that he said, wasn't it? What, what did he say? I missed that. He wanted to come with us because he knew if he went back to the pirates and found out what had happened to him, his crew, and his ship, they would kill him. That, that was one yeah. of the things that he said was a problem that we didn't know the captain or whatever. I thought that's the guy that you let go, but... Nope. The guy that we let go was at the hag's place. He was thankful that we didn't kill him initially. And then he tried to fight us for a second, and, and then we, we chose his leg, and then we patched it up. Uh-huh. Well, and then we let him go, and then we set the hag's place on fire. <laughs> okay, at this... At this... If you didn't let him go, or he didn't leave, he would have, at this point, shown to be uh, a reliable person, okay? Okay. He, he would not, um, yeah, he, he, he would be a part of the arc and would pull his weight. He's a bit of, he, <laughs> bit of a, a klutz, but yeah, he would, he would be doing everything he can to make it make his spot worth keeping if you didn't let him go I'm kind of looking through notes here but yeah he he would be helpful okay How does our forearm friend, or formerly forearm friend, handle the news about Ridge? He, uh, Abraham, probably, yeah. probably, yeah, probably like a Klingon roar. probably would not want to be close to him because he's probably smashing stuff. As long as not stuff that needs to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't be happy about it. That's for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, this... Your human would be... He'd be making good on what he said. He'd, he'd, he'd be helping out. Because I, I can't find where that's at. This is... Boat. Here's the... I think this is the... If it session. helps, it would have been slightly before we found out about rabbits. Yep. Because I remember thinking... Um, one of Echo's talking points against her was there are bad animals too. And I was thinking, I didn't say it out loud, I was thinking, like, we haven't ran into any yet. And then we found Ooh. rabbits. <laughs> you talking about Dink? Maybe? Did we get a name from him? Yep. I know the other guy was Dink named from something. The boat? Yeah, yeah Dink, I... and Dink is the one that told you about Captain Margot and gives you travel times, codes, and names. Wait, isn't the rabbit we have here named Margot? Yes. <laughs> I hope that's a coincidence. Well, I mean, just think about it. The rabbits would have been might have started naming used the same kind of naming conventions that the uh that the humans were using so sure it is spelled differently if that helps two g's <laughs> m-a-r-g-o versus m-a-r-g-o-t 
<laughs> the tea is silent. I may have I may be I may be pronouncing that wrong. Margot? It would be Margot, maybe? I think T the T is silent. I've never heard that name um, before. My name is Marga Margot with a T. Where the heck is the T? <laughs> anyway, anyway. So yeah, Dink Dink is the is the guy and uh yeah, he gave up all kinds of goods on on him. And he's Dink is I'm pretty sure Dink is the guy you're talking about. And he is he is helpful. Okay. Still giving him a stink eye though. <laughs> not not liking Dink still, huh? No, no. Uh, it, it's less of a not liking, and you make something I don't like, and we will be having words, and one of those words is knife. <laughs> All right. So I think we've got what you want to do for Reg lined out. Um. Everybody shows up for that. Um, yeah. Um, from there, um, you know, Cilia is doing better. Uh, what is there anything else you would want to tend to at this point? Uh, yes. Can we do something for the arc before That's, we wrap up? I'm actually heading to that because I figured you might want to. I would like to get my armor repaired because I got half of my freaking armor destroyed in one shot. Okay, so Chev will uh, need to roll that. I would like to have additional pipe bombs for our next adventure as well. Okay. Uh, so you finished up the radio last time. I've got lined out tank project one, two, th three, and four. Perhaps we should switch that to uh, the mem something memorial related. The project? Arc project? Yeah. Maybe a memorial wall for other people that have been lost, too. Okay, so a memorial wall. Which shouldn't take too much effort to make, I think. No, I wouldn't yeah. think so, but I'm going to give that a, a plus 2d6 to culture. Culture? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if ever there was a cultural event to, to spawn from all of our arc stuff this is this is one of the big ones and i'm going to make that a comprehend roll and uh basically i just need uh four successes on that <clears throat> unfortunately for me uh, it's still not her strong suit <laughs> are you kidding me Wow. I'm feeling the same thing. I don't know wrong with you two. Jeez. All right, so we don't quite finish that up. That's okay. We can get that. <laughs> Got one success on that. Uh, anything else that you want to go check on, follow up on, before we talk about XP? Uh, I think it's pipe bombs and armor now. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh Chev, uh, sounds like you need to do a, a repair roll here. Straight up jury rig, right? That's correct. That's more like it. And I think we've been doing that wrong. That repairs the entire thing, doesn't it? Brings it fully up to snuff. Is that right? I haven't. I don't. In the games I've had, I haven't had a uh, gearhead, so I've not been studying the rules on that as much. Jury ring right here. I think that's what we decided. I know jury rig has got a ridiculously huge page. <laughs> Repairs. Yep, the gear bonus is yep. completely restored. Thank goodness. They shot the shit out of her armor. It happens. 
Only a hitter with an explosive round. Yeah, I think I noticed uh, that I've something about I've got three damage on my scrap rifle too. Okay. Okay. You gonna fix that? I guess the scope got damaged, maybe? I don't know. Yep, probably. You're banging around, having too much fun with it. <laughs> I still need to find a sniper rifle. Blech. Okay, that's a success, so you're good. Anything else? Pipe bombs? Okay. So we've got an explosives lab, which should help. Mm -hmm. That's going to be Perkin. What's the gear bonus on the lab? Shoot, I don't remember. <laughs> Is the explosives lab in the base book? Yeah, that's a... Uh... I'm pretty sure in the book it doesn't actually give you a bonus. It just says it can be produced now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't... Museum, theater... I think it's just Torture a... chamber! Jeez! Every good arc should have one of those. I mean, we do. We have one, like, interrogation room that we've been using. I think there's a difference yeah. between an interrogation room and a torture chamber. I mean, there's a difference, but there's also a lot of similarities. Yeah, I think this... Specialized... The lab just gives you the ability to do it. All right. and I don't think it gives you bonuses. Combine the foundry explosive. Uh, have my assistants with me? Eh? Oh, hey, that's something I didn't know. Bullets. Uh, yeah, you can create bullets from the explosive lab, and uh, bullets then barter in the arc at half the normal cost. Neat. I will give you a plus one for your helpers. Excellent. I am not pushing explosive rolls. So. <laughs> Could be an exciting adventure. <laughs> or a really short once one. A, once in a lifetime. Suddenly, the problem in the explosives lab is not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> now it's everyone else's problem, specifically the janitors. So... Bomb squad shirt. It said, "If you bomb squad on one side, and then the other side says, if you see me running, try to keep up." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, no pipe bombs right now. You just don't. Um, you just don't have the stuff for it right now. You need to gather up some stuff. You can try again a little later. Okay. Uh, can I get some Molotovs in the meantime? Much simpler to make. Yeah. That, yeah. Because you got a still too. So. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make that roll. Uh, your help will give you a plus one. Is that a brew potions roll or still a jury rig? No, that'd be a brew potions. Woo! Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five successes. Four that are stunts. I'll give you two for the original success and an additional one for each stunt, if you'd like. So, yeah. two, three, four, five, six Molotovs ready to roll. Pass those out amongst the group. Okay, write them on Actually, your sheets. I'm. A... Yeah. How many? Uh, two each. So, two for me, two for you, two for Chev. And... Maybe when you come back, I'll make that. Alright, so two Molotov cocktails. Uh, I'll also turn that extra assault rifle into the arc. Oh, nice. That'll give a bonus. Two. Let's see here. Is there something special about Molotov cocktail? Like, if I don't light it, can I just drink the alcohol? Ooh. I don't think you want to drink that alcohol. Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I Well, I think it depends. 
in Not Russia, in, in Russia, you could probably could because I think they use vodka. <laughs> Technically speaking, if the if the alcohol can be set on fire, it's it's good enough for a Molotov. Really? I okay. I I I kind of pulled that one. Out. I I just, I assume that one. That that one is that one is me just grasp you know pulling. <laughs> I, okay, there we go. I want that to be true. But, I mean, the reason why you... If that if that's true, then the reason why you wouldn't want to drink it, drink it is because it's 200 proof. Ooh. So, in other words, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, yeah. In very quick order. Okay, so I need uh, D6 for technology. Wow. Up to a 65. And then I need 1D6 for warfare. Wow, another good roll. 52 on warfare now gives you a battle level of six nice yeah. we'll have many people but we are well armed peace through superior firepower <laughs> <laughs> all right anything else do you want to go back to the river for anything to check that out, or? Yes, I assume that the council would be like, "Uh, what? They're still they're just standing there. You guys well, should go check that." Nobody was mentioned. Nobody mentioned that to the council, unless I missed it. Did did? Uh, you did talk about the fact that we ran into pirates, but I don't think anyone said they were still there. Yeah. If that's mentioned, yes, they're going to want you to go check that out. But uh, unless it's we go back there and they're just gone, I don't know if we want to get into that. Well, this they don't is, want you to is... engage them because they don't want them. They don't want them to maybe start to thinking that might be a settlement here. But they do want you to go check to see why they didn't move overnight. And thinking if there's something going on, you might be able to loot the boat or something. I feel like that's a fair thing, but that's going to be probably an involved thing. So I think we should probably save that till next time. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well. I think we're a good spot here to stop it for the evening. Everybody have a great week, okay? All right, take it easy. Can um, you do? We're going to do experience. Oh, yeah. Usually that's Velvet that hammers me on so, that. Sorry to be that guy, but... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> always there, there's always one. No, always two are there. <laughs> Always an XP. Found more XP. Twenty four, there it is. Did you participate? Yes. Did you perform a day's work? Yes. Did you explore at least one new sector? Yes. Did you risk did you sacrifice or risk something for your PC buddy? Uh, no, but I am going to say, did you sacrifice or risk something for the NPC you want to keep safe? I'm going to give you all that point for uh, helping out the rabbits. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, did you sacrifice or risk something to mess with the NPC you hate? Uh, no, yes. No. Okay, explain that one. Pirates. Well, that goes along. I'm only going to give you the one point for either saving the NPCs, which goes, you're risking or sacrificing by taking on the pirates or you'll get the point for taking on the pirates you're only gonna get 
Uh, you're not going to get a twofer for that. I'm fine with leaving that one, p- potentially getting that one next session when we actually go to deal with the pirates. Maybe there's some way we can end up messing with them, like yeah. looking the boat to be destroyed. There you as go. As soon as someone tries to use it or something. Yep. Uh, did you sacrifice or something to reach your big dream? Uh, probably going to leave that one as a zero also. But four points for the for the game tonight. That's That should give everybody enough to at this point to at least put into a talent or a skill level. I'm going to bump up my jury rig by another point. Uh, goodness. Well, I picked up a new... Ooh, well, I think I accidentally... Because I should be a five, not that much. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take out the mount I had last time. Um... Let's see here. I'll pick up Stonewall, which is the reason why I wanted to pick up Warrior to begin with. Okay. Which means I can defend multiple times in a close combat in a turn. Oh, nice. That's pretty sweet. Thank you for watching another episode of Mutant Year Zero. We appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified when we post new content. And we hope to see you in our next episode. Thanks again for joining us for Mutant Year Zero.